What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's yours truly Op Destroy guys And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and that bell So you guys keep notified on all the videos that I put up on the channel again guys Welcome to my uh, channel and guys today. We're gonna show you RZM Remember going back going back to the days before cryoneers were available uh, we uh, used RZM, which stands for Rifleman Zuka Medic, and they all work in conjunction with each other as they battle on the archipelago. Uh, you got the Rifleman protecting the Zukas, but the Medics are protecting the Rifleman in a sense by healing them up. Again, you got to keep those girls preciously guarded because they are vulnerable to their health, and but they do the most damage. So again, RZM, they all work beautifully together in harmony, and we're going to show you exactly how to do that. Um, these are my tactics, obviously, they may differ from other people out there, but this is my way of actually making it work. I, 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 I'm not saying I'm the best RZM or RZCM player, but I know kind of how to use that troop mixture and, and just the combat on the archipelago. So, uh, so we're going to use RZM today, and uh, my statues, guys, again, no, you don't even necessarily boost, and I probably shouldn't boost, but if you're going to boost statues, um, you want to obviously uh, boost your resource reward. Uh, maybe one power stone chance, pretty much just the masterpiece statues. Uh, I, I, the health, I'm not going to worry about, but we'll, we'll just do that. We'll boost, what, four statues. The troop damage will boost the gunboat, we'll boost the power stone to 140, and then we'll boost the uh, resource reward, guys, because you know what? I'm not fully maxed on this account yet, and the rewards are appreciated, right? Uh, the hero I'm going to be using today, I have Kavan on the upgrade tree right now, moving up. I am actually want to unlock his, uh, <clears throat> his re uh, the defibrillation. The, uh, reviving troops but in this instance I'm gonna be using ever spark and the critter swarm my critter swarm is level 2 right now so it's not the max but it'll do it'll make do so let's go out guys and find somebody on the archipelago and put them to pound town so I'm gonna bring you through the scouting phase here now when you're scouting a base using RZ M we those are called squishy troops they die easy if they're not handled carefully so in this instance here, we want to look for the most splash damage that's going to really harm our troops in the masses. So uh, we also, we look at shock launchers, we look at rocket launchers, their range is the greatest on the game. You can see this, this rocket right here pretty much covers the whole plethora of space here on this, this base here. Um, and also to mines, guys, mines. When troops run together, they usually run in masses. And with mines so closely put together, you want to kind of try to avert those, destroy them, bar them out, do what you got to do. But if you can move around them, more power to you. Um, also, too, on the deployment zone, when you're looking at, the, at, at deploying your troops, you want to see if your deployment's going to be hot. Obviously, there's no hotness unless the, if there was a rocket up front, yeah. But we can deploy our troops and we will flare land them. Uh, that way, they kind of stay more compact. Um, so, again, looking at the base, the object of the game here is to kill the HQ. Because once you kill the HQ, everything goes down to the other parts of the uh, other depths of the ground here and blows up so what we want to do here is um, uh, look at the best avenue and it looks like over here in these trees here these ancient pines and sturdy pines and whatever we want to get our troops up over here near these stone storages because there's a plethora of gbe to kind of be had and also too we can throw shock nuggets here on some of these defenses up over here uh, the shock launchers here are put together so they can be shocked together which is cool I'm not too worried about it. Um, so my, my plan here is to uh, eradicate these two rockets. And you might ask why. Because if I'm coming up the left side, I don't want to have to smoke so much. Uh, because, you know, GBE does get expensive. Uh, I mean, smokes do get expensive and you run out. So I will annihilate both these rockets also to look, guys. See, they are connecting with rock, uh, another def a defensive building. So make sure when you're artillery these defenses, you want to hit in the middle there so you can get both the cannon and the rocket with one artillery artillery shell as do the wood storage and the rocket here so uh let's jump in enough of my riffraff let's jump in and see what i mean so i have 103 gbe let's throw a bart down right in the center there and a bart down right over here and see what that gets us here so it looks like it, we're doing a pretty good job and we got the rocket to take out an extra building and if we throw an artillery shell right in the middle there we should get that cannon as well and boom 89 gbe couldn't be any happier. All right, now let's start over here. Flare into the left. I will let my Zookas out first because the riflemen do go quicker than the girls. So you want to make sure medics, they can kind of come out because they kind of just mess around. Uh, and then we will uh, 
Once the girls get to the corner, we will let the, the riflemen out and we will begin our flare treatment. Now guys, also too, medics are kind of pesky. They don't like to run and keep up with the troops. Uh, so it's not bad if your riflemen do hit a few mines just to keep them up. I'm gonna throw a smoke over here. Uh, they will hit that one mine, which will be good, because then that means the uh, the medics will run up. There they go. Get up there, guys. We're going to come back over here and let the machine guns kind of hit a few of them. Keep going up, and the medics will keep up. That's beautiful. And then I'm going to actually flare them right over to this area over here behind these uh, wood storages here. And throw a critter box out. That boom cannon will be hidden. But I like Eversparks passive ability for the critters because it actually helps. It doesn't cost any GB. I'm going to throw a shock on the rocket. And I'm going to throw a fat shock on both of these shock launchers. You guys can see here they are both contained. And you just spam critters if you get a chance. Make sure you shock the shocks again. Shock the rocket again as well. And you guys can see RZCM if you look at it. You just got to get them in place and let them do their job. Throw some critters out. And guys, just like that, my good friend here, whose name I cannot pronounce, uh, goes down to Pound Town. Little, I, did, I lost a few troops there to the boom cannon one shot and some of my Johnsons. But nonetheless, it was worth the battle with the uh, resource reward. I only lost one Zooka and five riflemen. And look, cashing in at 529k on the gold. So there we go. Let's uh, reinforce. I don't have any... Uh, instant training so i gotta use diamonds so not too bad let's go take a look at rab here these are all level 50s 50s fours and 55s i'm a level 50 so it's right around my neck of the woods let's take a look at this guy he has a hot pot here um i see a plethora of gbe up here i see this mortar here kind of protecting that which our mortars are kind of dirty uh, but for the most part i think we can actually do this uh i'm looking at the minefield here um Again, guys, you want to do RZCM. There, there's times to actually deploy from the beach and just kill everything. But if, if, if I mean, I see a lot of splash up here. These machine guns, mortars, they just it would wreck my troops. So why not just get past them and, and go to the top, right? Um, it looks like if we go to the right here, it's going to be the best. There's, the mortar's not in reach from this point on. We got some boom cannons and one-shot defenses. Again, guys, don't be alarmed from boom cannons and sniper towers when you're running mass infantry troops like the RZM or RZCM because they only can shoot one troop at a time. And if you keep Everspark alive and she lets the passive critters come out, you're fine and dandy and sweet like candy. So uh, in this instance here, this rocket over here, if I want to go to the right, he doesn't even reach to the right. I'm not even going to mess with that rocket launcher. He's not even going to mess with me as I run to the right side here. So so you got to use your scouting abilities to make a run for it. I will annihilate both of these rockets right here and we will move up the right side. These shock launchers, this shock launcher won't even come into effect over here on the left and this one here will but we can we can finagle it and shock it, keep it shocked and let our troops just kind of kill all this and come down to this beautiful HQ here level 22 and take it to pound town. Now be careful what I smoke by here. I don't want this hot pot frying my troops. But without further ado, let's get in here and look at those juicy rewards I will be collecting. I can't wait. All right, so first order of business, we will BART each rocket launcher down and see what it takes us, where it gets us here. Um, all right, cool. An artillery shell. An artillery shell. And one more for the good pickings here. And uh, also right here, I will throw a critter box here for the mines. And again, guys, it's not a hot beach, I don't think. Except for that rocket there so we will actually try to be a little bit more careful and let our troops over more to the right medics out and then we'll let all the riflemen out here oh ever sparks a little bit to the to the left there let's move over like this uh-oh 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 uh -oh. i kind of freaked out because ever spark was late i did lose a few zookas there was not supposed to happen like that let's get all the way to the corner guys again it flaring on the grass or the snow or whatever you whatever you want to do uh it helps your troops kind of stay tugged on to the uh to the side there now again my troops aren't hurt so my medics are lollygagging guys and that is not good i probably should have had something hit my tr my, my medics um, I'm going to actually shock this boom cannon here so it doesn't take my medics out. <laughs> and I need critters now to kind of just kind of jump in and let's let's actually put a box of critters on this boom cannon here. Hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, there we go. 
I need my medics protected. I need my medics protected. Uh, I'm going to throw a shock on this shock launcher down here because he really is a booger. Uh, I'm going to bring out... These mortars are coming. Let's take out that boom cannon and we'll, we'll reflare back because, again, we're out of range of any splash, really. But you can see the GB that we're, we're gathering. Let's flare back now out of the mortar. We'll flare back over here and they should now come for this HE. Let's throw another shock on this shock launcher. He did get another shock off. Nothing a med kit couldn't heal. And uh, if you look here, the rocket is coming in. But again, guys, it's hitting my medics. I mean, my my critters and my good friend rab does go down uh he did get a few casualties i did get a few casualties here but nothing too much to make it uh cost where i, I lose gold and you can see my power stone chance statue is giving me five ice fragments i like that i did lose two zookas and 17 riflemen it's okay guys if you lose a lot more riflemen than zookas and boom congratulations on your promoted lieutenant three thank you my friend <laughs> Um, and so don't don't be alarmed if you lose more riflemen. That's supposed to happen, guys, because they're supposed to eat most of the damage from defenses. So don't feel bad. Uh, let's take out somebody else here. Let's look at Sebastian here. Sebastian, what's up? Let's reinforce my troops here. <laughs> Using the gold, all the diamonds, right? And let's look at this guy. He has a shock blaster. Uh, I love it. I love it. A level six sniper tower. Oh, man, the throwback sniper towers. I cannot, I, I cannot just get over how cute they look. All right, so right here, his mines are just like, hello there, I'm right up front here. Yes, just run into him and die. No, I don't want to do that, bro. I, I just don't want to do that. So I'm looking at the best way to take this guy's base down without losing that many troops. Um, I'm looking at his rocket launchers, very low rockets. So in this case here, I think if I just were to throw a BART down on all the rockets, we could get away with it and uh, proceed to move. Now this shock blaster is really beefy and uh, nothing but critter, nothing that critters couldn't contain or distract. I'm just looking here, we've got the mortars here very, a, a lot of his mortars on the left, a lot of splashes on the left. So again, that's one way to say, well, I'm gonna go right then because there's less splash. I mean, yeah, you got flamethrowers, but that's it, not too bad. Uh, the shock launcher over here also, again, from the right does not reach past that HQ. And uh, this one does, but we can shock it, right? And we might even be able to get the uh, shock blaster and shock uh, shock together. It, they, it might be a really close pixelated shock, but we can nonetheless try. All right, let's do it. And if you look here, we can go to the right and we won't hit any of these mines. So my good friend, Sebastian, got to put better mine placement out, bro. Don't just stick your mines in a line. I mean, maybe he was just lazy and didn't want to do anything with them. I don't know. Let's jump in, guys. Enough of my riffraff. Let's get in here and take out Sebastian. Um, I will bar out uh, these rockets here. And you know what? I really don't even need to get the other rocket. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Why waste the GBE, right? Are these any buildings holding hands? Yes, that machine gun probably won't take it out with the artillery shell. But hey, more damage is good. We'll get for this one here. Oh, we need one more for this rocket here. I hate when that happens, when you're like, oh, really, bro? I need to use one more. And uh, this rocket should not hit the ground. I think it might be too far up. Let's leave. Let's get the g girls out. We'll throw the medics right after. And then, uh, oh, another boat of medics. And then we'll throw all the riflemen out like this. And we're going to flare right beneath and underneath that Christmas tree. Let's actually start smoking here now. Again, guys, you don't want to flare all the way to the kill spot because you got to wait for your troops to catch up. And especially my medics. I should have let my, med my my troops get hurt a little bit. But but I'm coming. we're going to come all the way to the right here. Because he left a gap there. My medics are going to probably die. Because they aren't getting hit. I should probably let... There we go. There we go. I let the shock blaster take one of my troops a little bit. So that's good. And we'll kind of get one more smoke up over in this corner here. So look. See. With, with the troops hurt. The medics keep up. We did lose a few troops there guys. Uh, because they just like to play. You know hopscotch with each other or something or they're playing cards or whatever but let's throw a critter box down because that shock blaster will be coming in hot we'll throw a shock nugget down on on it so we can kind of let our troops kind of fan out but again you guys can see here um let's actually throw a shock on these flamethrowers because <clears throat> it's gonna roast our troops and with the critters out you guys look at the shock blaster just eye in those bad boys i'm gonna see now if i can throw a shock on this shock and the shock blaster and look at that i was able to pin down the shock blaster shock launcher throw critters out and whenever my troops are on the hq you guys i spam the heck out of critters you know why because it just look at them look at them all swarm the hq while my troops just kind of blast it down and my good friend sebastian does go to pound town here i did lose some troops here quite a bit i'm not gonna lie um, but I still think the offset from gold, getting the gold, will be 
far much better for my, my bankroll. I did lose eight Zookas there, three Medics, and 17 Riflemen. So there we go. Boom. Let's do one more for you guys because it's so fun, right? RZM. This is RZM. Um, now, again, if you don't have Everspark with the critters, then I would suggest maybe using, obviously, Brick uh, if you don't have Kavan. I, I don't know exactly when all the, the heroes release. I have to go back and do my Boom Beach homework. But if you don't have Everspark, the best bet would probably be um, Brick because that's the first hero we unlock and go, obviously, Battle Orders. Um, battle orders does get expensive though, so you got to be careful. Let's run out one more here and go to Rodrigo here. I don't want to make this video super duper long, folks. And let's do this. Let's see. He has some. Uh, let's see. Let's see his statues. Now, my good friend here, obviously, you got to get better better placement of your rockets because up in the right, that rocket doesn't even reach. Um, let's see the other rocket here. Uh, we will knock out both of these two rockets here, guys. So you have to look when you're scouting where splash will hit and where it won't and what the best way to what side is to go look at this all these three mortars here i would not go mess with these on the left the right's going to be the right way to right way to go here okay um and the beach is not hot you can see here beautiful he has some mines here i could probably throw a box of critters that'll hit this mine and move up to this or what i could do is artillery these mine these three mines here let my riflemen run over these mines so the medics keep up with them so or if you want, you can destroy the mines and let a few of the rockets hit your Johnsons. Uh, that way it damages them and the, the medics keep up. All right, let's start going. But I'm going to actually annihilate this rocket, so scratch that idea. <laughs> All right, so first order of business is attack these rockets with a barrage. Uh, I, I let them go first because it's a lower level and see what it, the damage it does. Then we'll throw an artillery shell on top of this rocket. And obviously it's gonna need a little bit more. Both of them probably will need one more each. Yikes. All right, cool, that is, that is not cool. He has ice, I know he has some ice. Yeah, he does. Uh, there we go, so that's done. And what I'll do now is I will throw an artillery shell and get rid of those three mines. Now it's not to say my troops won't hit a couple of those mines there, but hopefully they don't. Let's flare down. My gunboat energy now is kinda hurting, but uh, we should hopefully be able to get up there. Medics, come out. And then uh, we're going to get the Johnsons to come out right about now with Everspark. And we're going to flare all the way to this corner here so they stay tight. Now, I'm going to throw a med kit because some of my girls actually might hit that. Oh, good. Okay, that's okay. They're very low mines then. That was good. And you see the troops and my medics are keeping up now with the damage. Now, I'm going to get up over here. I was hoping for a little bit of splash hit there. Come on, machine gun. There you go. I'm going to throw a shock over here on these boom cannons and uh, machine guns here. And then the, uh, the there's a mortar there and a, a shock going for those critters. So let's just... Now, I see that microwaver, guys. Be, be careful for my, microwavers. They will fry your troops. I'm more concerned about that. So let's just kind of keep our eyes on that. Let's actually shock it now with the shock blaster. And uh, throw a med kit on these alien troops that are getting destroyed by the... Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh, I don't have enough for another... Uh... Uh... Oh, yeah, his... We're going to lose a lot of troops here. I, I should have saved for another shock on the microwaver. But guys, nonetheless, Rodrigo does go down. I did lose more Johnsons than Zookas, which is obviously a plus point because uh, you don't want to lose more Zookas. And down Rodrigo goes, only losing three Zookas. One medic lo was lost in the filming of that and 28 Johnsons, which is understandable. 515k in gold. And you guys can see I'm swimming in it just beautifully. So there is RZM, guys. That's Rifleman Zooka Medic. That's my guide, a kind of to run your RZM onto a base. Um, again, look for the splash. Make sure you know exactly where you want your troops to go. Destroy the splash that you need to open up a spot to run through, uh, and then just make execute like that, and you guys should be good and golden. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. I love Boom Beach, and if you guys love this, again, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and uh, so you guys keep up on the loop on my channel. All right, guys, until next time, keep on booming, and look forward to those warships coming out. Peace.